This is Tony Jeffries, and you're watching Sporting Icons. So I would love to say, because we knew about this three months ago, when they said there was a trace, and you know what? All right, everybody. So I watched a clip from the latest Nigel Benn and Chris Eubank tour that they do in and around the UK. Now, no idea where this latest one was. I have no idea. But, of course, it's part of that uh, Gold Star promotion thing. Anyway, within this uh, uh, tour that, th that they've done, of course, both of them addressed the Conor Benn situation. Currently, he's under investigation for a substance found prior to the Chris Eubank Jr. fight, okay? We've already discussed that. Anyway, Nigel Benn said that they found out three months ago. They've known about this three months ago, but decided to carry on training because nobody told them that they couldn't. Always to that effect. But three months ago, so basically Eddie Hearn knew three months ago. Now, I was under the impression, and I'm sure a lot of you were as well, that with the dates flying around, that they knew maybe a week, two weeks before the fight. Some would say a month, but not three months. So Nigel Ben knew about this three months I mean, how is that? What? Unless, of course, he's talking about another test. I don't know. I really don't know. Hopefully somebody can explain that for me. If not, Eddie Hearn has got a lot of things to uh, answer on that one. Because within a three-month period, surely to God, you can get that cleared up. Surely. You can get some kind of investigation or whatever done. You can get the B sample tested. You can, get, you, you can do all this kind of stuff. Why... Was he still trying to get this fight done? I don't get that. I don't understand that. I don't get it. Surely that should be illegal if that's true, right? Anyway, um, Nigel Ben, of course, he was speaking about how he, he he believes his son, Connor, didn't do anything intentionally. Okay, he wouldn't cheat. He wouldn't have it himself. And he, and he, and he kept saying that he knows that Connor wouldn't because Connor is him. He shares his DNA and because he would never have done, done something like that, therefore Connor wouldn't have done something like that. I don't agree with that. Okay, listen, I'm not saying that Connor Ben's done something. I'm not saying that. Okay, but what I am saying is that just because the father hasn't, that we know of, okay, doesn't mean the son won't. You know, it, it doesn't work that way. It really, really doesn't. I mean, who's to say that uh, just because Nigel wouldn't have done something, that, that must mean that Conor Ben wouldn't have done something. There's no way of knowing that. I mean, did Big Baby Jaron Miller's parents, are they perpetual PD users? Are they? See, it doesn't work that way. Did uh, Ted Bundy's parents, were they serial killers? Things don't work out like that. Okay? I don't understand why people go down that kind of road. I, I really don't. Everybody's individual. Of course, you're going to inherit some some traits, of course, but not just because Nigel never cheated doesn't mean Conor Ben never would. I said hopefully Conor Ben hasn't, and hopefully they proved that everything was uh, well, it's accidental or it's contamination or whatever. But the fact is, go back to the original point. It, three months ago, that is terrible. That is terrible. If they knew about this three months ago and were trying to hide it, as in Eddie Hearn was trying to hide it for three months, then Eddie Hearn needs to be suspended himself. For real, right? He should be suspended for trying to cover it up. And that goes for any promoters that are out there. If you try and cover these things up for three months, when you had three months to, to actually get it sorted and you didn't do it, that must mean that you're quite happy for your fighter to get in that ring juiced up to the eyeballs, potentially, right? Anyway, my thoughts, drop me yours, click thumbs up, subscribe, catch you next video.